The Mama Take Heart podcast with Rabrina Rettel is brought to you by Life Audio and is a part of our Faith Toolkit series. For more inspirational, faith-affirming podcasts, visit lifeaudio.com. Welcome to Mama Take Heart, Understanding Your Gen Z Girl. I'm your host, Rabrina Rettel, and I'm here to help you be the gospel-centered, compassionate, and influential voice in your girl's life. Today, we're going to talk about the importance of mama communities and life as a mompreneur. Joining us today is Dominique Young. She is the president and founder of Faith Mama's Tribe. Uh, As a wife and mama four, Dominique started Faith Mama's in 2017 from a desire to study the Bible with some of her mama friends and grow closer to God through Bible study and prayer. Four years later, Faith Mamas now reaches hundreds of women in over 10 different countries. Dominic says that we may have grown in size, but we're on the same mission to be a growing group of mom friends who desire to connect with God daily and deeply. Welcome, Dominique. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be here. It is my pleasure. So although we had never met virtually or IRL in real life, you and I are part of a private Facebook group called Entrusted Women, a mentoring and collaborating group for Christian communicators of color, women. And it was on that page that I saw a link to your app, Faith Mama's Tribe. As I scrolled through, I noticed it's a community of mamas from all walks of life with a variety of resources. And just to name a few of those, you have Bible studies, you have live prayer, you have a prayer room where women can ask for prayer and other women respond. There are how-to videos, something called My Sister's Closet, and even a praise party section. Uh, So, you know, I know in your bio, your bio, we mentioned how you came up with the idea, but can you tell us more about it, like how it grew and how it made you a mompreneur? Sure. Yeah. So a few years ago, my whole thought process was, hey, I'm a mom. I want to connect with other moms and I can't get out of the house because I have four kids. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Wait, give us those ages of those those four kids. Yeah. So now they are two, four five and seven. And so a few years ago, I think I had two. I just had my third child at the time. And I was a mom with toddlers and an infant. And I wasn't going to hang out with anybody at the playground or anything like that, because I could barely get myself together with so many children, but I desired community. And so what I did was just got a few of my friends together on a Facebook group and we began to read the Bible, talk about the scriptures. And it just became a really great time to be able to connect and grow in Christ and fellowship with one another. And somebody told somebody else and then somebody else told somebody else. And then eventually it grew in size. And then people began to ask questions in the group. And when they did that, I was like, well, how can we do, how can we answer these questions or at least have these conversations in a, uh, in a way where more people can access it? So we started a podcast, myself and two other women um, that were in the group at the time. And so when we started the podcast, the group grew and grew and grew some more. And I was like, whoa, what's happening? (laughs) Um, And so that was really awesome. And it just began to grow. And what was happening was we were having these real conversations on the podcast of questions that moms really had when you're talking about your faith. And when you're talking about things like, well, what is it? What does faith really look like in motherhood? Because we've heard the stories about, you know, you got to wake up super early and spend time with God early in the morning. And half of us are like waking up with the Cheeto in our ear. We're like, wait, (laughs) how does this work (laughs) in real life? And so being able to answer some of those questions, it caused it to grow. And then fast forward to today, the Facebook group just had so much content and it was hard to navigate through, like to find all the things you needed. And so I knew in my heart that it was time to find our own space 
um, along with just some of the other things that go on with social media. Some of the moms had been stating that they were finding themselves more depressed when going on social media outlets. Mm -hmm. um, and they were trying to find other ways to connect as opposed to traditional social media outlets. So it's like, well, let's create our own social media app. Mm. And so it was really constantly about meeting the needs of the growing community um, mm -hmm. that God was placing uh, before me at the time and continues to place before me. And it's just been an amazing opportunity. I never, I always call it like the accidental ministry and the accidental entrepreneurship journey. I didn't, that wasn't the reason I started, but it has truly changed and transformed my life. Um, this whole entire process has been beautiful and I've just been learning so much along the way. So how did you decide, like I said, you have a lot of resources on there. That's what intrigued me. There are just so many, you have groups, like the groups alone are so varied. You have a group who, okay, single moms, you have a group who are into wellness and nutrition, and there's a group that uh, talk about or deal with mental health issues. I mean, it, it's like, it was so many groups and that's just one small section of the app. So how did you decide what to offer? Yeah, so Faith Barbas has always been about community and what the needs of the community are. And so a lot of the things that we um, offer now are based on the past four years in the Facebook group and the things that have been regularly happening. For instance, we noticed um, that prayer was one of the main reasons that people continued to come to the Faith Mamas community is that when they needed prayer, they knew that there were going to be some sisters praying for them. And I was like, well, we definitely need a set aside spot just for that. Another thing um, was that people love to share music. And this kind of got lost in the sauce on Facebook, because once you post a song, and then somebody else posts something else, and it goes all the way down the feed. So I was like, well, how can we create something where it's like, if I need some music, and I can click on a song, and it's just uplifting. And then another thing um, is the groups that you mentioned, uh, a lot of the faith mamas have a variety of life experience and mm -hmm. things that they've gone through. And so what, what we wanted to do was create a space where they can one, be trained and have support on being a leader and all that stuff, but two, also offer spaces within, uh, within the app. So other moms are offering these groups. They're saying, hey, I want to support moms that are grieving because I know what it's like to grieve. I know what it's like to bury your, my own child. Like mm -hmm. I want to support other moms. And so we make the space for them to be able to support one another um, through this journey because everybody's, everybody's experience is different. We have some moms that are like, I'm a homeschool mom and I want to be able to support and provide space for other homeschool moms. And that is an opportunity for them to do just that. So it's been amazing, actually, because this app launched um, just about a week and a half ago. And <laughs> already there's so many groups. There's so many women that are like, I want to support. And those groups are active. People are supporting one another. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful community. Wow. I didn't realize that that was the first launch. Because mm -hmm. I, I remember when I saw the link, I downloaded it that day and there was already quite a bit on, on yeah. the app. And so, wow, that stemmed from the people that you already had in the group. And then you just kept getting more needs. And so you were meeting needs as you were getting the request for the need. Yes. And there were people stepping in saying, I want to support that need because I have experience in that area. Wow, that is really interesting. I, to me, when things happen like that, that's a work of the Lord. Like you see his hand all over it. So yeah, that's really great. Yeah, God is amazing. And truly, this the, the whole app launch um, was a work of God. It's just, I, there's no other way to explain it. I tell people all the time, I'm not techie, first of all. I'm not your tech girl. I'm really not. I still ask my son, how do I change the input on the TV so I can watch my show? Like I am not techie at all. Um, and, and we actually had a, um, an app that I kind of designed before that was basically resources. It was, it there was no social interaction. We used it, um, alongside the, the Facebook group, just where we could store some of our Bible studies and it would be easier to 
to get there. But when God began to speak to me about a social media platform for moms, I was like, how are we going to do that, God? Mm -hmm. How is that going to happen? And getting the opportunity to find a developer that specializes in this was just amazing. And then the price tag of it, I was like, God, I don't know how we're going to um, pay for that. I don't know Mm -hmm. how. And so um, just in prayer was like, find this many sponsors that are able to contribute this much. And I said, okay. And I made a little list and I was ready. And I said, I'm going to, uh, the, the number was find six sponsors. And so I made a list of 20. I was like, okay, I'm going to call 20 people. And, and, you know, maybe six will out of this list, the first six said, yes, the first six said yes. Wow. And spent the money within an hour, we raised all the money within 24 hours. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay. So to me, for those who, if you have something that the Lord has placed in your heart and it will not go away, Mm -hmm. it is continuous and you have been praying to the Lord about it. You need to step into that. Mm -hmm. (laughs) That's what that says to me is because he will provide it. He will provide the way. So for those moms, I'm going to encourage you that you make sure you get that prayer going and that you truly feel it is um, from the Holy Spirit, step into that calling that the Lord has for you. And as you can see, Dominique here has four kids. <laughs> I told Dominique, I, I am on the other side of the littles. And um, I told her, I, I don't think I could have. And I only have two children. She has four. And I felt like the Lord was telling me, you just need to focus right now. <laughs> And now that my children are much older, he's like, okay, now you can step out. So there's no pressure because whatever little you're doing is preparing you for whatever the big the Lord has for you. Uh, Because there's a lot of little things that I have done, you know, serving in uh, the church that I went to, uh, mentoring uh, young married women, uh, mentoring uh, college uh, women that prepare me for where I am now. So everything that he's, he's putting in you right now is to prepare you for whatever it is he wants you to step into. But when the time comes to step into it, and you may be like Dominique, how she, she was willing and ready to step into it, even with her littles, and he has provided for that. So that is a little encouragement. And for her, the ministry has turned into somewhat of a, a mompreneur type of situation. So don't be afraid, just go to the Lord. Get that confirmation from the Holy Spirit first. That's what that says to me, because he will provide. One thing I thought was really cool is this is a global community. And a a lot of your photos represent, they show the, the global part of the communities, which I thought was also really cool. And then this one section I thought was interesting, my sister's closet. Mm-hmm. I thought that was really neat. It's basically explain that a little bit for us. Yeah. So I love it. It's so one of the things that we noticed in the group, the faith, the Facebook group was that oftentimes people would contact me and say, Hey, I have, um, I have some extra children's clothes. And I was wondering if anybody in the group needed it. Can you reach out and see? And because I don't know everyone individually, in the community, I may not know like, oh, a particular person needs this. And so I was like, hmm, how can we provide a space within the app where people can just list, hey, I have this that I want to give away. I will send it to you. And I just put it there. It's so funny. God is so amazing. I just put it there because it's something that's happened in the Facebook group before. And when I put it there, I begin to see women using it. And I began to see people, I think recently someone posted that they had clothes from their 12 year old son that he had grown out of. And somebody's like, I really could use those clothes and my child's growing out of clothes. And they're like, great, I'll ship it to you. The, I, I reached out and the person got their shipment and they're like, I'm so grateful. Um, there was one mom who had just fallen on hard times and someone had posted, I have a lot of business suits for women size, such and such. And the woman was like, I would love those. And she wants to go on interviews and things. And so she shipped her those things that I'm like, oh, this is wow. so cool. So that's what it is. Um, and honestly, like I said, the, the app 
It's not been around long. So to see women already taking to these things, giving to one another, supporting one another, the biggest thing about it is that it's there's you can't place anything in there that's for sale. It's mm-hmm. things that you want to give away. And a lot of the moms had stated, hey, I really like this because, you know, I have all this stuff and I don't necessarily want to like throw it away or I don't want to like give it to someone or give it to um, maybe an organization. I'm not sure how they're going to use it. I really want to give it to a person Mm -hmm. um, that I know. And so it's just been really great to watch moms support one another and I've been finding in that space that you never know what someone's going through. You never Mm. know when someone doesn't have shoes for their child and you just gave them the shoes that they've been praying for. Like you Mm. never know. And I'm seeing that um, through the, my sister's closet and it's just amazing. Well, another thing I'm interested in is, as I stated before, I felt like the Lord told me I needed to focus. (laughs) So basically you just need to wait Uh, But you are balancing family life and the responsibilities as the Faith Mamas app creator and everything that goes along with that. How are you balancing all of that? You know, it's funny that you were talking about how God had told you to focus. One of the things um, that just continues to resonate, God continues to remind me is that everything doesn't have to be done right now. Mm. And it's almost, it's so funny. If you could see inside my brain and see all the things I want to happen <laughs> versus all the things that are happening, there's so much more, so many visions and ideas and things. And God continues to say, pace, pace, pace yourself. And mm. reminds me that this is, it's not, it's not a sprint. This is not a sprint. This is a, you know, every day you take a step and you make a step. And one of the ways that I um, am learning to balance, I guess is the word, would be to set boundaries. Okay, Mm. this is the time that I'm going to work on this. And then I'm with my family and I'm a homeschool mom. So I homeschool during the day. And so that's a big chunk of time that's kind of like untouchable. Um, And then, you know, spending time with my husband and all these things. And sometimes, and this has happened to me before where I get so excited about all the things that God is doing um, with faith mamas that I want to spend all my time there. And God has to constantly remind me, no, 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 this, this will be fine. This will be fine. I need you to tend to this. I need you to tend to this in your family. I need you to set boundaries. I need you to make sure that one day a week, like you're not even in there at all. Like I need you to set the boundaries and make sure that you recognize that, you know, Faith moms, God's like, I got this. He showed me time and time and time again. He's like, you don't have to be there. But I was about two years ago, I was very micromanagey and like just, you know, there was so much going on with my family that I was not, I was ignoring. My house was a mess. Um, and God basically had to be like, Mm-mm, this is not it. <laughs> you have to set those boundaries for yourself because even though you enjoy the work that you're doing and you enjoy all this, you have to, you, you don't want to do it at the detriment of your family. So learning how to put those boundaries in place, learning what Sabbath looks like, um, learning all of these things has been, has just changed my life. Um, because before Faith Mamas, I was, I would consider myself more of a workaholic. I would spend countless hours working. I was a teacher at the time. Um, and I just got, I felt like I got my identity from work. Mm. Um, and so God has really been, um, just throughout the years has been like unraveling that and peeling away those layers, um, so that I can set those boundaries. And so that I don't constantly have this mindset that I have to be there in order for things to happen in business or in ministry or whatever. And God's like, no, set boundaries, have clear times when you're spending time with your family, clear times when you're spending time on certain things. Is it perfect? No. Am I still learning? Absolutely. But boundaries is like the number one thing in this season that I'm learning um, to make sure I'm using. Wow. I love that. Yeah. It, and it, cause it's true. Our, our number one ministry is our family. Mm-hmm. And yeah, even though sometimes working on, our other parts of our ministry can be more fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because sometimes the Lord's working certain things out in us 
through our family and uh, pruning certain things through mm-hmm. our family. And so, yeah, uh, when we're on one part of the ministry, we have a little more control than we do on with our family, you know, because they're humans, human beings, and they need, they have emotions and they need, you know, to be looked after or their needs met or whatever. So, yeah, that's really good. The boundary thing. That's something I learned very much also the past couple of years. And I truly feel it in my spirit now. I get this really, this wrestling in my spirit. If I feel like wrestling in my spirit, I'm like, okay, you know what? I think I need to step away <laughs> because I need to step away or step back because that means that something's going on in there. This was a really good conversation. It was fun and telling. I really appreciate you joining us today. It was uh Good to talk about life as a mompreneur and the importance of mom communities. So how can our mamas connect with you? So the two best ways is number one, download the app. That would be so (laughs) awesome. And truly we connect one person. I remember I welcomed her into the app and she thought it was like a, um, a robo welcome. And so she thought it was like automated. And so she shared something. And then I responded and she's like, oh, wait, there's, there's a real human. <laughs> so yeah, so the app is probably the best way to continue to connect. Um, and you can download that in your app store, on your Google Play store by tapping in, uh, typing in Faith Mama's Tribe and it'll pop right up. And we talk, it's literally social media. Like people, I think when I say that, um, people are like, oh, okay. And then they get in and they're like, oh, like it really is. <laughs> yeah, like, there's a lot. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, so that's a really great way. And then of course you can um, catch us on, catch me on social media, Facebook and Instagram at Faith Mama's Tribe. And those are the pages. And lastly, you can also uh, join us on YouTube at Faith Mama's Tribe. So everything is at Faith Mama's Tribe, even on Pinterest, Faith Mama's Tribe. <laughs> okay. And of course, I will put all of those links in the show notes. Yay. All right. Well, I want to thank you again, Dominique. And um, I just pray that the Lord will continue to bless your efforts and supporting these women who evidently need the support. And listeners, I encourage you to take a look at it. There's a lot there. I'm sure you will find something just for you. All right. So listeners, uh, just remember that God is for you and you are not alone. With his spirit, you are filled with courage and strength of purpose. So don't fret, Mama. Instead, take heart. Mama Take Heart is a production of Life Audio and the Salem Web Network. If you liked what you just listened to, would you take a second and leave us a rating in your favorite podcast app? It really does help more people like you find our show. This podcast is produced by me, Kelly Givens, and Stephen Sanders, with executive oversight by Stephen McGarvey. You can find more podcasts like this over at lifeaudio.com. Thank you.